Hi, my name is Dr. Kendra. I'm a staff veterinarian at the Houston Zoo, and I'm one of the co-managers of the rehabilitation program for sea turtles here. Yesterday, 25 turtles were released off the coast of Galveston by our partners at Texas A&M Galveston. These turtles all received a veterinary assessment by veterinarians at the Houston Zoo, and they all underwent a swim test, showing that they could swim well prior to being released. All of the turtles that come into the Texas A&M Galveston campus, uh, these are cold-stranded sea turtles or other sea turtles that come in, all of them receive veterinary care from the Houston Zoo. Prior to any release, uh, they will receive an exam by a veterinarian and make sure that they are okay to release. It, it also goes through some other processes, make sure that they can swim well, make sure that they can dive before they're able to be released. Today we're going to be seeing 11 turtles. These are all turtles that were not released as part of a big release yesterday because either they didn't pass their initial veterinary assessment or they didn't pass their swim test. Uh, so we want to figure out what it is that's making them feel a little bit more sick or investigate problems that we already found a little bit further. So today they're going to get a more in-depth physical exam, they're going to get blood work, and they're going to get radiographs, and we're going to treat anything that we find today. Turtles can come to us anywhere from the Louisiana border to the East Matagorda Bay, and they can come through a variety of sources, a variety of partners, and we provide the veterinary care for all of the turtles in that region.